We've been going around the country observing best practices. What I've learned is that innovative companies tend to like to share uh, what they're doing with other like-minded companies, and so people have been very gracious in sharing ideas with us, and we've tried to implement them. Um, one of those is prefabrication. Five or six years ago, we did it the old General Motors way. We bought a million widgets, uh, bought it from the cheapest vendor, just to save a few cents a widget, and uh, we've totally thrown that on its head. We get um, here material in the quantities we need it, when we need it, just in time, and there's no waste. Things are cut and welded and pre-racked uh, in such a way that they get flown up to the floor where the men are working. When the men get the product on the floor, there is no waste, there's no trash. It's already pre-cut for them, sometimes pre-assembled, and it's just a lot easier to go in. People that we uh, observed around the country a claim that there's up to 10% savings on labor alone for the prefabrication process. In material, uh, we put in three and a half million dollars worth of plumbing so far on this job, and we have only had about two and a half little bucketfuls of waste. Well, one of the benefits of prefabrication specifically is that there uh, are enormous savings for the owner on this job stored materials and the capital costs associated with that has got to be enormous. And so if all the subs did that, it, it could be potentially very powerful for an owner. One of the things that has historically driven our industry is that it's speed, speed, speed. Let's get it done quick, it fast track, and, and there's a sense that that's the quickest, that, that's the most cost effective way to do things. In the new model of doing business, uh, we're trying to turn that on its end. And so quality is first, cost is second, speed is last. And that's counterintuitive, but the point is if you get it done right the first time, you obviously save money. In the healthcare industry, we, we're told that a hospital being out of a hospital room being out of commission for a day causes them something like five thousand dollars of revenue. So if we can shave th you know three months off of the job collectively, the payoff to the owner is significant. The old traditional practices that most people still do today, they're obsolete. The world is moving in a different direction. We're looking for ways to save time and money for the owner.